welcome back to my channel so for today's look we are going to be going into what we got in this month's boxy charm um quick little disclaimer i did cheat and i did look into what's in my box just so i know what i can use and what i can't use so we're going to be going into that and i'm going to be using all the products i did cheat i know what's in the box i um I just thought since I did like a unboxing for my Ipsy bag, I'll do more of a demo for my boxy charm bag box box. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be using some fun products like um, new lashes, new foundation, first impressions here and there on some products, and we're also gonna be doing a first impressions on the full set of brushes from Mikasa Beauty. Um, I do have a coupon code for this. It's AngieMC15, which gives you 15% off your entire purchase off the website, off anything. They do have, um, like, oval brushes, so that works for that. They have eyelashes and all that good stuff, so my code does work for everything on the website. So, yeah. We're going to test these out to see if they're good. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo in the shade Soft Brown. I'm gonna go in with the NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer. I found mine in CVS and then I went the other day to pick up my prescription and they still have it there so I usually link it down below that you can get it on at Ulta. Ulta only provides four shades though, like they only have the the purple one, a peachy one, stuff like that. But I've noticed it more at CVS, they have like the actual muted down tones, like the the ones you would want to use for your eyes and stuff like that. So just to clean up under my brows, I'm gonna go in with the Mikasa brush. This is in the shade. What am I saying? Like, my head's not here. It really isn't. So, this is the brush number E100. This is what it looks like. This could be used as an eyebrow brush. This could be used as a liner brush. I'm going to be using it to clean up under my brows. For my brows, I did use my Anastasia brush. I just find that that... Um, like, once you find that one brush, you cannot give up. You can't give it up for anybody. So I like these brushes a lot for cleaning up underneath. I feel like I can get more precise. This is the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. So for the eyes, I'm going to be going in with the Studio Makeup On The Go palette. It looks like this. This is their cool down palette. I'm going to be going into the shade right here. It's like a bone shade. Bone. And I'm just going to place this all over the lid just to kind of set that um, soft ochre. <laughs> So now to begin the look, I'm going to be going in with another Mikasa brush. This is the E300. It looks like this. It's more of a blender, like a blending brush. And I'm going to be going in with the shade right here in the middle. This one right here. And I'm going to take this straight to my crease. Something to hold on. like this brush this brush is so good like it's not as fluffy as like this brush like this is a morphe this one right here is a morphe m505 which is usually what i go in first with one of my shades this one's more dense more shorter you can actually tell in the bristles this is a mikasa this is a morphe 
but I don't mind that. Usually denser means you get more product. You um like it comes out of a little more, more harsh, but I don't mind it. I kind of like it. taking this shade right here it's like a cranberry shade I'm gonna be putting this on the crease as well I'm gonna now take the brush that I use to conceal my not to conceal but to carve out my brows this is again the Mikasa brush in the number E100 and I'm going to go back into the soft ochre paint pot and I'm just going to carve out where I want my cut crease to go. And now I'm going to take another Mikasa brush. This is the brush number E220 and I'm going to go into the shade right here it's so pretty that's what I've had legit my eye on the entire time it's this one right here it's just so you know glittery things attract my eye so we're just gonna go into that one okay so now that I put my first layer of the shadow on I think the shadow is beautiful but I'm just gonna apply some Fix Plus to my brush just to <laughs> with some awesome sound effects added on. You're welcome. And I'm gonna go in back with the same shade. Just now my brush is fully equipped with Fix Plus. I'm gonna first set my brows. This is the Chella Brow Gel. This is really good stuff. It makes my brows like stick to my skin. Looking upwards, like I like them. I'm going to first apply mascara. This is the Pure Cosmetics Fully Charged Mascara. Powered by magnetic technology. Let's see how that works out. I'm going to apply this to the under part of my eye. This is from Skin Iceland. This is a... It comes like this in a package like this. So there's a packaging. I got this in my boxy charm. This is the Icelandic Release Relief Eye Cream. So I'm going to put this under my eyes because um, I usually do put an, an eye cream when I've had a pretty rough day the day before or if I've just woken up like, you know, not feeling too good. So it comes off like this. It has like a little cap and I took it off and it has like a little, little bendy thing. And it's like those lipsticks that you like have the kind of like. Okay, so I'm going to put this under my eye. I usually put creams like this under my eye in the morning and I'm just going to pack it in with my fingers and under when I use under eye cream I like packing I don't like rubbing like I do with my primer I just feel like priming the skin is so much different from putting an eye cream on so I'm just putting this under my eye it's actually really cool like it has a cold sensation and I like it. Now, I'm going to go in with my brand new lashes. I'm absolutely obsessed with these. They're just so pretty. I don't even want to touch them out of the packaging. That's how cute they are. They're the new Bouncing Lashes in the style Serengeti. Um, I was going to get the Bella ones, but they were sold out. And I, I really like these. So, I'm going to use these. So, while my lashes are kind of just, like, I want the glue to get a little bit tacky, I'm just going to prime my face. And, um, for the first primer I'm going to go into is the Bare Minerals Prime Time. I'm 
I put that all over my face and then for like my problematic areas like my t-zone and stuff I'm gonna go in with the makeup forever step one equalizer this is their mattifying primer <laughs> Just to make my lips look bigger, I do have pretty big lips, but I do like making my lips look bigger than they are. So for that, lately I've been going in with the Too Faced Lip Injections Extreme, and um, I just like it because it's like a, a moisturizer. So for my skin today, I'm going to go in with the... Like completely raved about the new um, LA Girl Pro coverage high definition um, longwear illuminating primer. I mean, long illuminating foundation. Like I said, I can go in with illuminating foundations. I just do not like. I cannot go in with an illuminating primer. So I will be trying these out. I got two shades. I got um, Warm Beige and Soft Honey. I'll probably be trying out Warm Beige first. So let's get into that. Um, I usually test out new foundations with a beauty blender. This is how I put on my foundations most of the time if I'm not using a foundation brush like the Morphe M439. That's what I usually use to buff in my foundation. But definitely I like trying out new foundations with my beauty blender because if I like it with my beauty blender that means that I'm going to like it with anything. Okay, so now for concealer, I'm going to go in with the Naked Skin by Urban Decay. This was one of my favorite concealers. Um, was, is, like, it's like the A Cosmetics. It's the first concealer that I used, and then when I stopped using it, I was like, why did I stop using it? And then when I started using it, I was like, oh my god, I love you. So it's like a love, you know, like, thing. <laughs> Just set the rest of my face. I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation. This is in the shade medium tan. So I'm gonna be going in with the big, like big, big, big daddy of the Mikasa brushes. This is such a great size for a powder. Like, oh my god, it's so soft. Oh my god, this is so soft. But this is how big I like my powder brushes usually. So this is the F100 and oh my god. New powder brush. New favorite powder brush. So I'm just going to be swirling in to my powder. And I'm just going to be taking this on the sides. Not really focusing it so much under my eyes or on my nose or anything like that because either way I want that to stay. Now for contouring, I'm going to go in with the Lorac Pro Contour Palette. Um, this has been my, like, to go to, like, it's either this one or the Kat Von D one. But it's so pretty. It has, like, it is so nice. Like, it has, like, everything you need to do somebody else's makeup to do your own makeup. So I'm going to go in with the another Mikasa brush. This is the F F111, F111 brush, and I'm going to go into the medium contour, which is the biggest one right here. Okay, so now for highlight, I'm going to go in with the Cover FX drop. This is in the shade Moonlight. This is, like, this is the bomb. I like it because I don't have anything like it, and... Like, you need the tiniest amount. So, I usually just go in with my finger. Like, I put some on my finger. Like, douche. And then I go in with my finger. On my cheeks, I do, like, three dots. And 
like I do it on the high points of my cheeks like that <laughs> I kind of want to use a shade that I didn't use, like that purple one I used in the crease. So I'm kind of leaning towards this gray right here. So I'm going to go in with that gray on the crown brush. And I'm going to place this on my lower lash line. And I'm going to take this on the inner part of my eye. Like on the inner, not inner corner, but like the inner part right here. The inner corner, I'm going to go and I'm going to do a mixture of these two shades here. They're like really pearlized and the whitest shades. Now I'm going to set my highlight. I'm going to go in with the... LA Girl Strobe Light Strobing Powder. Now for blush, I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like in the packaging. It's actually really pretty. And this is the Vintage by Jessica Lee Liberskind Illuminating Face Highlighter. But I like I opened it. And it looks like a blush to me. I'm going to use it like a blush. And I'm going to go in with my powder brush. Just because I want like an ever so tint of it. And then I'm going to take the last brush that I have in the set. And this is the F200. And it is just a very nice stippling brush. Very, very dense. I love these brushes, they're so soft. And I'm just gonna take this and kind of like swirl around just to make sure that everything's nicely blended, nothing's too harsh. And then for lips, I'm gonna go in with the um, Bella Pierre Cosmetics Kiss Proof Lip Cream. This is in the shade Antique Pink. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys would like to see next. And subscribe to my channel if you're not already. So, um, yeah. So, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.